In this video, we are going to talk about developments in assistive technology. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. In the United States, it is estimated that 48.9 million people have a disability. According to the U.S. Census Bureau Survey of Income and Program Participation, 24.1 million people have serious disabilities and 34.2 million have a functional limitation. People with serious disabilities are those that are unable to perform one or more tasks of daily life, have one or more particular disabilities, or use assistive devices such as crutches, walkers, or wheelchairs on a long-term basis. People with a non-severe impairment have difficulties performing functional tasks like seeing, hearing, raising, carrying, ascending stairs, walking, or making their voice understood. People with a non-severe impairment have difficulties with everyday tasks, according to the study. There have been several advancements in assistive technology recently. Smart gloves, self-driving vehicles, robotic weapons, and other innovations are being developed for people with physical or mental disabilities who are unable to live normally. Here's a list of the developments in assistive technology, let's start. Number 10. Microsoft goes, eyes first, on gaming. Gaming doesn't necessarily necessitate the use of bulky handheld controls. Do you want proof? Microsoft released a series of, eyes first, games in 2019 that can only be played by moving the eyes. People with speech and mobility disorders can have difficulty communicating and interacting with computer technology to play, games, communicate, participate, and be productive, according to the organization. These weaknesses can be overcome with innovation in usability technology, such as Windows 10 Eye Control, to unlock the ability of their powerful minds. The games promote skill development for use with other eye-controlled devices, but they also offer people with disabilities new ways to have fun and participate in the gaming community. Number 9. Show and Tell, for blind Echo users. Amazon has announced the introduction of, Show and Tell a new feature of its flagship digital home assistant system that helps consumers with vision loss navigate their own cupboards more effectively. With Show & Tell, blind and low vision consumers can hold an item up to the Echo Show camera and ask, Alexa, what am I holding? And Alexa can help recognize the item using advanced computer vision and machine learning technology for object recognition, according to Amazon. Alexa-enabled devices already make excellent accessibility companions in the home, as they can attach to communication devices such as iPads and quickly and easily relay crucial information. They become much stronger as a result of advancements like this. Number 8. Chrome's Visual Accessibility Features Web users who are blind rely on screen readers. When images aren't labeled correctly, however, assistive technology is unable to tell the consumer what is being depicted on their displays. In 2019, Google set out to address this problem. The new visual accessibility feature from Google borrows machine learning technology from other Google products to improve recognition of details in unlabeled images. According to Android Authority, Chrome is now better able to search photos online and tell the user what they're looking at, regardless of whether they're branded or not. The website admits that the technology isn't flawless. However, the concept is intriguing, and we're excited to see where it goes from here. Number 7. The Deca Robotic Arm. The DECA robotic arm was designed by Dean Kamen, the same person who created the iBot. The project was funded by the Department of Defense's DARPA Research Agency, which Dean Kamen and his colleagues worked with. Dean Kamen and his team agreed to construct the robotic arm for wounded soldiers returning from the Middle East. The robotic arm is just around 8 pounds in weight. It can quickly peel an orange because it has such high precision and power. The robotic arm has a variety of control and modular parts that can be customized. A sensory feedback system is also built into the robotic arm. The hand sensors, for example, calculate the strength of the hand grip so that the person wearing the arm can receive feedback in the form of vibrations that become stronger as the grip strength increases. This enables the individual wearing the arm to decide what grip strength is and isn't suitable for particular tasks. It also informs them of the amount of pressure being applied. Number 6. The iBot Stair Climbing Wheelchair. For physically disabled individuals, the iBot is a self-balancing, stair-climbing wheelchair. The iBot, unlike traditional wheelchairs, can climb stairs. Since stairwells can be found almost anywhere, the iBot is an excellent wheelchair for improving mobility. 
the majority of people who use conventional wheelchairs need assistance to move them up and down stairs. It is unsafe for all parties to have someone else bring them up and down the stairs. The self-balancing technology used by the iBot is close to that used by the Segway. Physically challenged people who use the iBot would be able to scale any terrain without difficulty. Unfortunately, the iBot is currently unavailable for purchase. Physically disabled people can only hope that the iBot will return one day and provide them with a life-changing experience. Number 5. Cochlear Implant. While the cochlear implant is not recent, it deserves to be discussed. The device's software and hardware are also getting better. More than a hearing aid, the cochlear implant is a life-changing device. A built-in microphone in the implant picks up echo. The signal is then carried by the built-in microphone to a small device worn behind the ear, where it is converted to a digital signal and sent to the implant. After the digital signal is sent to the implant, the system activates the auditory nerve directly. The implant adds a new dimension to auditory information. The implant was first developed in the late 1950s. It was the first commercial implant to be approved by the FDA in 1984. Since the 1950s and 1980s, cochlear implants have vastly improved. The implant produced mostly static when it was first created. Cochlear implants now have over 20 sound channels. In comparison to decades ago, the consumer can hear with much greater consistency thanks to the numerous sound channels. With a cochlear implant, people can hear background noise, however verbal communication is possible. Number 4. The Dynavox IMAX System. The Dynavox IMAX system allows people with disabilities such as blindness, cerebral palsy, and strokes to communicate using only their eyes. Users can communicate with an on-screen keyboard using the device's sophisticated eye tracking system. Users can type words and phrases using the on-screen keyboard. The user's words and phrases will be converted into spoken text by the device's text-to-speech mechanism after they've been entered. The device's inter-ACCT language program provides the user with hundreds of predefined terms and phrases. The predefined terms and phrases can then be chosen from a list or by looking at photographs or scenes. The inter-ACCT language app is designed for young children and people with mental disabilities who may not be able to read. Number 3. Google's Driverless Car. We all know that other car companies, most notably Tesla, have released driverless vehicles, but Google also has one. Google's self-driving car has promise in the field of assistive technology. Not only would Google's self-driving car benefit people who are blind, but it will also benefit people who have physical or mental disabilities that prohibit them from driving. It will provide disabled people with independent and safe transportation. The car was designed by a Google team of engineers to work on its own, using a combination of Google Street View and artificial intelligence to gather data from the vehicle's various sensors and cameras. In Nevada, Google's self-driving car is already on the road. Engineers at Google hope that it will one day be a life-changing device for people with disabilities all over the world. Number 2. The Car for Blind Drivers. Dennis Hong, an engineer, is currently working on a vehicle that can be powered by blind people. Dennis Hong is combining a number of sensors, computers, and cameras. The cameras will be used to monitor the environment around the vehicle while also providing the driver with sound and vibration via sensory input. Auditory warnings. Pulsing vibration signals in the driver's gloves, seat movements of varying strengths and positions, and a screen that shows a simulated image of the vehicle's surroundings using compressed air are all possible noises and vibrations. Even if the vehicle is released, even though the technology is extremely promising, it may not be street legal. Other engineers will learn a lot from the sensors and technologies developed as a result of the project, even if it isn't a safe and affordable vehicle. Number 1. Smart Gloves. One of the most recent advancements in assistive technology is smart gloves. Researchers at the University of California, San Diego, develop smart gloves. The low-cost smart gloves convert American Sign Language into digital text that can be read on a tablet or smartphone. The wearer clearly signs American Sign Language to activate the gloves. The differences in electrical resistance are then used to identify American Sign Language. The differences allow an onboard computer to determine which letter is being signed. The computer then sends this information to a Bluetooth device without the use of cameras. 
Other gloves claim to be able to convert American Sign Language into digital text, but smart gloves rely on simple components. The smart gloves are made up of parts that cost less than $100. It's a cost-effective approach to a complex problem. Material scientists, chemists, and chemical engineers made up the research team. Timothy O'Connor, a graduate student, worked on the project for two years before it was finished. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.